Here's a little tip from our garden to yours. Do you worry about using pesticides in your garden? There may be some natural alternatives. Jennifer Ramos, our Florida Yards and Neighborhoods Coordinator, is here today to share her tips for natural pest control. Welcome, Jennifer. Hi. Jennifer, a natural pest control, what does it really mean? Does it mean not using pesticides at all? Not all the time. Natural pest control can be using low toxicity substances, things that are not man-made, they're not synthetic. So they might be things we would find in nature already. Correct. So what would be some advantages to using natural pest controls over pesticides? Well, number one, it would be better for the environment. They break down relatively quickly. You can actually use them on your vegetables and not have fear of eating uh, chemicals and that are bad for you or toxic. Uh, they don't kill other organisms or they're very low toxicity, so they don't really kill a lot of organisms. Um, and then we have a problem with insect resistance. So a lot of these things um, help with that. So they can help with all kinds of different products. And so there's a whole range of products that are insect control. Are there ones that control diseases? Yes. Or other pests like weeds and nematodes? Weeds, uh, nematodes, but there's not a lot of alternatives for homeowners tr trying to kill nematodes. Mm -hmm. But uh, funguses, there's a lot of fun uh, fungicides, there's a lot of things that you can use for disease control as well. So it looks like you brought me some different products, yes. and uh, one of them we're going to look at is, is, I think you wanted to compare these two. Yes. So what do we have here? Well, one, we have an insecticidal soap, which kills your insects, and one, we have a weed and grass killer. The thing is, it has the same chemical in it, but the insecticidal soap is going to be uh, less percentage of the active ingredient. The reason why is because this will burn your plants. So you have to read the label. You have to know what you're using because not only do you have to know how to apply it, but you also have to know how much of that chemical is actually in that uh, container. So both of these products are, are just insecticidal soaps. One's Correct. just stronger and it will burn weeds back. Correct. And, but it won't totally kill them like Roundup. And that's another thing about the natural controls. Correct. You know, that they're, because they're non-toxic, they're not always going to, have as quick an effect, let's say. Right, or as long-lasting effect. Long lasting. That's a good way to So you might have to just come back and reapply, but in the long run, it's better for you. And I think a lot of people don't know that these insecticidal soaps, it says controls aphids, mealybugs, bugs, mites. It does really just as good a job. It really does. And if you keep up on it, if you apply it as often as you should, it, you really won't have a problem. So it's very effective, but this one yes. also, it's not where they... Um, fall over dead as soon as you Correct. apply it. They have to ingest the material. Correct. And it doesn't kill every caterpillar out there. And that's important to note too. Right. And I think some of these things are on the label, so you still need to read the labels right. of these Correct. products. So we also have, uh, which other one would you like to talk about? Um, let's see, what is this one? This one is this neem. This is neem oil. Um, I like to use that a lot. You can use it on your vegetables. It comes from a tree. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use it on your ornamental plants. It also has some disease properties. Um, it also kills a whole variety of insects. Um, it either stops them from feeding or it regulates their growth. So they can't actually go to the next life cycle. So it just it disrupts their life cycle. And some of these products have been used for thousands of years. Yes, they like have. Like the neem is used in the eastern, Middle Eastern countries. Yes. And it's a, it does have real insecticidal properties. Just like sulfur. Sulfur's mm -hmm. been used since, I, I, I can't even tell you one, um, but since they started having crops and vegetables, they've been using uh, sulfur and it's very low toxicity. It doesn't have any toxicity to mammals and it's very low toxicity to aquatic organisms. And the sulfur works on, uh, well it says black spot and roses, powdery mm -hmm. mildew and things like that. It also works on mites and all other kinds of insects as well. So Jennifer, it looks like there's lots of choices that people can use if they don't want to use conventional pesticides. Correct. And we also use integrated pest control management, which means you try and cut the bug out first, cut them off your plant if you can, and uh, if that doesn't work, then you use these products, and if that doesn't work, then you go for the big guns. 
Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for giving us a little more info than we already knew about natural pest control. There may be more natural choices for pest control than you realized. Try one of Jennifer's suggestions and you may be surprised with the results. Mm -hmm.